Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. Hey love bugs, I hope everybody is doing blessed and highly favored. I am definitely doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. If this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended family, just thank you for being you, having patience with me and my videos while I had a lot of stuff going on. And I hope everybody had a blessed, safe holiday uh and happy new years and with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video and like and subscribe <laughs> i did that totally backwards but uh you know if Please go ahead and drop me a line or two if you're comfortable enough. I love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Or, you know, even if it's you're just telling me about your, you know, your impact, the gift, and how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction. If you feel like the videos gave you good vibe or good information you would love to share, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, go ahead, um, you know, do so with a fam family, friend, or loved one, or whatever, wherever you see fit. And go ahead and, you know, share on social media, wherever you see fit as well. And thank you once again for stopping by the channel, showing me love and support. And I hope you're able to enjoy the video or get, you know, find some kind of resonation with the video and today my video is I mean my meditation music that I'm actually listening to today is called relaxing music uh, for deep sleep Delta waves calm background uh, for sleeping meditation and yoga and I'll post that link in the description box below and today my video is about twin flame 101 hey okas you're giving um, giving birth to a better you giving birth to a better you it's just like if you're a woman you're a mom you know um, you you're probably going through the same experiences you know going through different hormones going through different emotions um seeing things in a different way you know nesting yourself preparing yourself you know last year was like really hellish really chaotic really crazy for a lot of us empaths a lot of us hayokas indigos whoever you know whatever your gift is you know you probably went through a lot of different things you know it just felt like God, when is enough going to be enough? You know, I feel like my life has been flipped upside down. You know, people are being, you know, really hellish and ugly towards me. Or, you know, I'm losing friends left and right. I'm going through all these different emotions and trying to understand them. Putting, you know, them, you know, getting understanding and clarity from those things. And we were we were doing that, giving birth to ourselves. And it's just like a lot of people that I, you know, um, I stayed in touch with that I talk to on a regular basis, you know, I was asking them, hey, were y'all going through these things where you felt bloated? I still feel bloated. My, my, my weight has been fluctuating up and down. I've been craving a lot of caffeine lately, and, you know, that's not a good thing, because <laughs> all that sugar and stuff, and I've been drinking it like crazy, like I've been having to force myself to drink water. And it got to the point where my solar plex was acting up. You know, a lot of us uh, empaths, if you're not on that, you know, vitamins or you're not taking supplements and stuff like that, um, your your bowel movement can be irregular. You know, you're going through a lot of things where it's like, you know, uh, your balance has been off. You probably went through a lot of vertigo, whatever dizziness, you know, forgetfulness. Like, you know, it it I had to start my video like three or four times, y'all. Because it was like, Dag, I haven't made any videos in about a month. I forgot how to do my intro, you know, forgot how to do all that stuff. And it was just like I had to get back into the swing of things. And, you know, my videos are a little bit long today because there's so many things that I want to catch up on. So many things that I want to talk about. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be doing my videos like I said before, you know, on a daily basis, I'm just going, playing this by ear, you know, I'm just now getting back to a full effect of things, and you know, and like I said before, I'm so grateful for y'all keeping me in your thoughts and prayers, checking up on me, you know, I've been um, talking to a lot of people one-on-one, -on -one, you know, through emails and um, 
you know, on one-on-ones, either video chat with them or just texting them back and forth. You know, a lot of people are, you know, comfortable with that. Um, I'm going to uh, start back doing my live. I don't know if I'm going to do it anytime soon, but, you know, I will keep y'all in the loop when I'm going to do that. Uh, like I said, I'm getting back into the swing of things, so I'm just playing it by ear right now. I hope and pray I have some more videos coming out, you know, throughout the rest of the week. It just depends on how things are going, you know, how I'm feeling or whatever, because I'm still going through different changes, and I mean, it drove me so crazy when I wasn't doing videos, you know, so I tried to you know, keep up with the people that I keep up with, you know, um, if you've been leaving messages and stuff like that, I try to get back to them as, you know, as quick as possible, but it's just like, I hope y'all understand, I've been going through a lot, so, um, and it was a blessing, you know, even though I felt like hell at times, because I was going through so many different emotions, there's so many things that I had to exit my life out of, if it wasn't from the habits that I was doing, um, it was just my, my way of thinking, being able to deal with it. You know, I'm getting so emotional. It's like, you know, whatever your your uh, gift is, you know, me would be, me being, um, it's kind of like empath or uh, mine is empath, clairvoyant. Um, there's so many different things that I've been going through and there's so many new things that I've um, found out that I'm still going through. Um, and it was just so many things that I had to look at a different perspective, but it really humbled me um, going through it. You know, I get frustrated at times because you get tired of going through things and it just feels like, especially with us hell, because we always do ask backward things. You know, our lives are so uh, crazy at times that we can go through toxic relationships. Um, it doesn't have to be just with a significant other. It can be with family members. It can be with your significant others, um, co-workers, just, you know, neighbors. It don't matter. You know, going through so many different things. And it's just like, I went through a lot of abuse um, as an adult and especially as a child. So there's a lot of things that I suppressed um, that are I'm clearing that way up so I can be able to let it go which was really hard for me to do because it was like going through the things that I went through and, um, you know, basically just like not coping with it, but dealing with it, which was a really hard to do because there's so many things I suppressed, um, especially through sexual abuse. I went through those things. So, um, that was really hard to deal with because it was just like, you know, when you go through things, especially as a child, um, I really had a really rough upbringing, but my my rough upbringing is just like I said, I'm not going to be a product. I'm not going to play victim, um, you know, because we can fall in that trap of being victim, you know, you be victimized or whatever, and you, you don't want to, you know, just label yourself as the situation you went through, um, which it could be really hard and very traumatic. And it was just like, it has to be one day at a time. I had to go through the flow, um, just dealing with a lot of things that, you know, I just didn't want to be angry with my family anymore for the situations they, they put me in. Even though there are some things that, you know, I could have, you know, switched on, but it was just the way I went about it. But I took the blame for the things that I did, um, and I had to seek peace with it. You know, there's times that we go through things and we can be really hard on ourselves. We can be our own worst critic, but it's just like when we're going through things. Um, we might not understand the things we're going through. You know, we have to go through things by ourselves. You know, losing friends left and right. Um, people that you thought you were your friends, and it could have been for years, they end up not being your friends. Um, you're going through hard times, and it's just like you'll be that person that went out and about for people and took that battle for people that are not willing to even jump over a puddle for you. And that's okay because it's just like, you know, I had to let go of a lot of people um, in the last couple of months. And it's just like, I still wish them happiness, even though they could have been stabbing me in my back, they could have used me. But it's just like to set that peace of mind in my heart was, in my mind, in my aura, in my spirit, whatever, in my soul. Um, you have to wish people well, because it's just like hurt people hurt people. You have to, you know, break that cycle, break that, that generational cycle. You know, a lot of us have been going through things that were karmic. 
um, we could have been going through uh, karmic generations, especially when it comes for our family and lineage. You know, I felt like, gosh, you know, asking, you know, family members, what the heck did our family go through? Who did we piss off for us to go through so much hell? But it's just like we signed up for this millions of years ago. And it was like, you know, it makes you feel like God dog, you know, millions of years ago was I badass or whatever. <laughs> you know, it's just like, you know, you went through that. You're like, you went through it and say, you know what, I signed up for this. I had to pick my family members. I picked certain situations I put myself in before I even knew what I was putting myself into. But I knew no matter how hard it was going to be, I had to be able to heal from it. Because there's so many wounds I had to, like, reopen and resurface and say, you know what, there these things you need to let go. Because even though this, this happened to you, that happened to you, this happened to you, you can't say that, you know, you, you can't let your, your past dictate your future. Because usually if you keep holding on to the things from your past, it's going to mess up your future. And I'm just like, you know what, this is a new year. Um, I'm birthing a new version of myself, the best version of myself, and I can't feel sorry for the things that I went through. I want my experiences um, to basically be able to help people because a lot of us are going through things, you know, we can't judge a book by its cover. You never know what road that people have been on. I, I mean, like I tell y'all a lot of times, I feel blessed. I feel very humble. I don't feel like I'm better than the next person. Um, a lot of people judge me because of the fact is who I'm related to, um, who my father is, who my family is. So, you know, there's a lot of people that judge me for that. Um, I went through hell because of, I still go through it at times. You know, I still get a, a side eye. You know, I feel the energy from people when they find out who I'm related to. You know, like I said, if you're new to my channel, I always suggest people watch my intro so they can get an understanding on why I started making these videos. Why did I, I feel like I had to make videos finding out I was a Hayoka, finding, you know, I was a twin flame and then found out all these different things about myself because it was like after my father passed away three years ago I mean I went through so much hell because I didn't know who my father was and it was a blessing to be able to know my father's always been there spiritually even though I really didn't understand because I didn't know who my father was until after he passed away I've had an inkling of, of a connection of like okay why am I you know thinking about this man all the time you know I knew I was adopted or whatever but it, it was just like even though my dad couldn't physically be there for me he was there for me emotionally and mentally and spiritually you know even though he couldn't be there in the physical uh, sense but you know it's just a lot of people that you know found out you know Roslyn you know found out my life story found out the things uh, what drew me to start making my vlogs on helping people because it's like I tell people all the time this is a blessing to me um, even though I help a lot of people a lot of people are helping me as in you know making videos and trying to let people know you're not alone you're going through these things for a karmic reason you're going through so much hell because you have your own story to tell you have many of people like I'm helping you you're, you're gonna be doing the same thing for somebody someday uh, you're probably doing it now and it's just with us as being hell because we mirror a lot of things towards people and some things that they don't like but you know those are the things we have to know and sometimes the truth can be ugly but it's a blessing when you finally, when you can look at it in that positive light, like, dang, I had to go through this. I'm learning this about myself. I'm knowing this about myself. Sometimes it can be confusing because of how we go through things. Because we go through things that ass backwards, especially if you're a Hayoka. And so going through all my things that I went through um, has brought so much joy to me, even though it brought me a lot of sorrow. But I learned from everything that was either negative or positive that impacted my life or affected it in a very, you know, bold way. Um, and to be able to know these things about myself and being able to birth myself, you know, especially if you're a man, it's hard for you to understand, you know, what do, what do women go through? We go through a lot of hell. You know, I got three beautiful girls. Um, like my, my daughter, my youngest baby, her birthday was in November 26th, and my two oldest ones, um, my baby, she just turned 18. My oldest daughter, she just turned uh, 24 two days ago. My, my middle child, she turned 21 uh, a 
couple of days before that. So it was just like, you know, being able to bless my children, being able to see like, gosh, I feel like I'm getting old. And some people are like, Rosa, wait a minute. You know, you got kids that old. You know, I got a grandbaby that's a year old. And it's just like, I try to take care of myself. I try to take care of my body. Um, not going through things and using my, my marijuana substance as a crutch or escape to get away from all the traumatic things in my life, all the energy, because it's just like with me, I've been like this since I was little and never really understood it because my mom was open to, you know, talking about it because she found it fascinating with me, especially, you know, how I had connections with my father and the things she used to always ask me, how do you feel when you see your father? Or, you know, before she even, knew, you know, before she wanted to tell me who my father was, and there was certain things she found very intriguing because of the connection we had even though I wasn't able to know him know him like that even though in the spiritual realm I did in my physical world I really did it was very confusing to me and it was certain things that I felt uncomfortable to talk about because I was punished for the things that I knew you know um, my adopted father would tell me um it was a mental illness to have that sixth sense that third sight to be able to talk to the dead talk to spirit you know spirits and see things and knowing things about people's life before you know they don't even talk to you about it but yeah I can tell certain people about what happened to their life significant people that you know they're like wow how does she know these things you know it's just like it's been amazing to be able to help people along that way um to help people heal that's a really uh really good blessing to have to go through and just learning all those things and giving birth to that that better version of me is is really humbled me you know I just had to take a break for me to realize all the things about myself because I love helping others and it was just like Rosalind you, you know when you're giving out all this love and energy you have to save some for yourself and I, a lot of my family you know I don't, I don't want to say fans or subscribers or whatever um they, they push that to me like, Rosalind, you do a lot for us. And I love what I do. I, I give selflessly, not because I'm looking for anything in return, but I knew what it felt like to have all these questions and not have enough answers. I had to learn mine through the research that I was going through, things that I would hear in my head. I'm like, wow, why is this certain words coming up in my head? Why are these certain things are coming to me? But everything comes to you for a reason. Um, the universe blesses you with those things. And it's just like, I had to be grateful, even if it's for the, the bumps and the bruises, the heartaches, you know, the hurtfulness that I had to go through. I had to be grateful for that because it's taught me a lot. You know, it's just like, you have to know that, you know, life is going to give you lemons sometimes. You got to be able to make the lemonade, you know, look at life in a different perspective. You know, it might be, it might, the world might piss you off at times. You have to be able to look at it like, what am I supposed to learn from this situation? What, what kind of lesson was it bringing to me? So, you know, knowing you're going through these things, you're going through these for a reason. You know, your pain has a purpose to it. You're serving a purpose. You know, it's, it's a scary thing to know, you know, you pose to know yourself. But how do you really, really know about yourself? Because it's just, I have a lot of uh, extended family come to me telling me, Rosalind, I'm just finding out about this situation. People are bringing the hell to me or people are letting me know I'm an empath. And I really didn't know that about myself, you know. And it's just like with us, there's so many people that will open up and tell you your life story. And you're like, why are you doing this? But people feel comfortable and drawn to you for them to be able to tell you, hey, this is the things I went through. These are the things I, I you know, I'm learning from. So I hope, you know, anybody was able to, re you know, everybody was able to resonate with this, you know. And you'll be able to learn and grow from it. Um, and, you know, basically, this is it. So, you know, send out much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. You know, when you're getting blessed, go ahead and bless others. You know, you see somebody that you can help out along that way, even if it's financially, you know, mentally or emotionally. You know, get that out, you know, if you truly can. Um... And, you know, you get those blessings back in return with the universe. So, you know, uh, drop me a line or two. I'll love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the, the aspect of the video. Um, you know, go ahead and share this video wherever you see fit. And 
you know, see you on my next video. And my post notification shout out goes to Miss Cynthia. Much love to you, Cynthia Michelle. And I hope everything is going good for you. And I will talk to y'all on my next video. Much love and light, sitting, uplifting uh, vibes, abundant vibes, you know, really good abundant vibes, you know, clear vibes clarity vibes and loving vibes and um healing if you really need them and uplifting vibes as well so i hope y'all have a blessed blessed day you know weekend be responsible for everything you do and i will see you on my next video much love peace be wild